Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the BPS session. Um, as indicated also in the program, we will have uh, four presentations, and I hope that we will have some time for discussion after these presentations. And there is one change. So the last presentation by the committee contributions to Earth System Modeling cannot be given by Mike Thomas remotely because he has a time conflict, but he prepared, uh, prepared some slides which we will be presented by, uh, by me. So let me just uh, start with the BPS uh, activity report. Um, I, I would like to start with, with this overview slide because not, uh, not everyone is uh, very familiar with the uh, activities of the different GIGOS components. So the BPS is uh, shared by the Technical University of Munich. And uh, on the view graph here, you see also the uh, staff members of the BPS. Um, there are three uh, GIGOS components associated to the BPS. Um, so these are two committees. Uh, so one is on contributions to Earth system modeling and the other one on the definition of essential geodetic variables. And then there's a working group uh, towards a consistent set of parameters for the definition of a new GIS. Um, just a few remarks on, on that. So, um, on the essential geodetic variables. Richard uh, Gross uh, uh, told me uh, two months ago in, in Berlin that he intends to step down from the lead of, of this committee uh, due to his big uh, job now as an IAG president. And uh, so we discussed uh, this uh, topic within the BPS and I'm happy that uh, uh, Thomas Gruber uh, intends uh, uh, that that he uh, would uh, would be available uh, to take over the lead of this committee on essential geodetic variables and we uh, will hear some thoughts on this issue in his presentation just after my report uh, okay and the next thing is uh, that the um, working group uh, shared by us marty uh, consists already for four years uh, until the end of this year. So we need to find a solution for a continuation since the work here has not been finished yet. One uh, key objective uh, of the uh, Bureau is to support GIGOS in its goal to integrate uh, the three pillars uh, of geodesy, the geometry, gravity field, on, and rotation of the Earth. And uh, a fundamental requirement for this integration is uh, to uh, have consistent standards as, as the basis for the generation of geodetic uh, products. And this is an essential for reliably monitoring the uh, Earth system. On the left side, you see some of the ob uh, object ob uh, ob objectives of the BPS. So the first one is on coordination activities related to the homogenization of standards and products. The next one is related on standards and uh, the two last uh, objectives are related to geodetic uh, products. Um, as you already can imagine from the objectives of the Bureau, it requires a close interaction, interaction within IAG and also uh, to external entities and uh, towards this aim representatives uh, have been defined and you can see here in, in blue the representatives of the geometric services in, in red of the gravimetric services and in, in green representatives of the other uh, entities so from the International Astronomical Union we have uh, uh, there, Jose Ferrandis, and also the ISO uh, is represented here very well in, in this uh, uh, in the extended bureau. So this is the implementation plan 
uh, 2020 until 2022, so it's uh, already outdated. But you can see here that the work is uh, mainly divided in three key topics in communication and outreach activities. And the second uh, field are specific tasks on product and standards. And the third one is on outreach activities. And currently we are updating uh, the activities uh, according uh, to the new GIGOS implementation plan uh, 23 uh, to 25. This view graph highlights some uh, of the uh, BPS uh, task. The first one is the uh, is key task uh, related uh, to <coughs> geodetic standards and conventions. And towards this aim, the BPS inventory has been generated. The second item refers uh, uh, to the revision of the IES convention. And here, uh, the BPS is mainly involved uh, in uh, Chapter one, uh, general definition and numerical standards. And I will show uh, two uh, slides on, on this later. Uh, other issues are, late, are related to geodetic products and uh, to the defi definition of essential geodetic variables. And uh, also some uh, external activities are, are, uh, are uh, shown here. So uh, one issue is uh, outreach. So the work is done, uh, of, of course, internally within uh, GIGOS, but uh, uh, the community, uh, community which should be addressed with this outreach activities is uh, mainly outside uh, geodesy. So here, it, that's the reason that it's, it's displayed here under external activities. And then there are several uh, interactions with external stakeholders listed here. So now I would like uh, to show one slide on the BPS inventory. This was a key activity during uh, the last years. And as a result, we uh, generated the inventory, which has been published in the IAG uh, Geodesist Handbook 2016 and uh, uh, 2020. The contents you can see on the right side. So uh, main parts are here, chapter three, the evaluation of numerical standards. And uh, a key element is a product-based review for uh, six uh, of the major uh, IAG products. And uh, the idea of, of this inventory is to assess the present status, to identify gaps and deficiencies concerning the generation of this product, and to provide recommendations. And the work has been done in interaction with the IAG services, the IES Convention Center, and with other entities involved in uh, standards and conventions, such as IAU, ISO, and also the UN GGM subcommittee on geodesy. Um, in addition to the six uh, products uh, shown here in, in uh, this uh, list of contents. Uh, we will in future consider other products, for example, atmosphere products uh, or other candidates are sea level ice melting or terrestrial water storage, which recently has been defined as an essential climate variable. The goal of, of this is uh, to improve the consistency of geodetic products. So now a few words on the IES conventions. Uh, uh, so last year, during the Unified Analysis Workshop, which took place in October in Thessaloniki, uh, there was a particular session on standards, conventions, and formats. And uh, this uh, slide here summarizes the outcome of, of uh, this session. So uh, chapter one of the uh, IES conventions consists of mainly two parts, section 1.1, the permanent height, and here, uh, the BPS recommends to include uh, a paragraph on, on the IAG Resolution 2015 on the International Height Reference Frame, demanding mean tight system for heights. And I think uh, the inclusion of a paragraph is in particular important because for the realization of the height uh, reference frames, uh, 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 combination somehow uh, 
or integration of geometric quantities and, and physical quantities needs to be done. And so I think it's important to indicate in the, uh, in the IES conventions that different permanent types are uh, defined for uh, geometry. So it's a conventional type free model. And here for the uh, height reference frame, we have the mean type system. So it's important for the users that this is mentioned. Uh, along with the according references and, uh, and uh, I think uh, a short paragraph should, should be included here. But of course, this need to be discussed within the IES. Then uh, major part of the uh, chapter one are the numerical standards. On the next slide, I will show some recommended updates for table one, the IES uh, numerical standards. And uh, in the presentation given by Urs Marti, we will uh, see some ideas, some notes on uh, the current status concerning uh, the global geodetic uh, reference, uh, no, the geodetic reference systems uh, since the GIS 80, which is still the official one, is rather outdated already. And so Marty, Urs Marty will present some ideas on, on that and how to proceed in that direction. And general recommendations of the BPS are that it is really important that all the numerical standards, including time and tight systems, must be clearly documented for all geodetic uh, products across all IAG components. And this is really uh, very important from the user point of view and for the integration of different kind of products. And the BPS recommend, uh, recommends that the necessity of a new geodetic reference system should be further clarified, and we will hear more about this by Urs Marti. So this uh, shows the table directly taken from the IES conventions. So uh, several agencies are involved here in the definition of these uh, constants, such as the International Astronomical Union or CoData. And the BPS recommend several updates here for table one, which are listed here. I don't want to go in detail to of, uh, here. So now I have a few slides related uh, to the classification and description of geodetic products, which was a key activities during the last two years. Uh, we did two different uh, classifications for the geodetic product. So the first one is according to the geodetic themes. This is a classical geodetic view, uh, very sim similar to the structure of the IAG. And the second classification is according to Earth system components and space, which uh, I think could be a more uh, logical or more attractive entrance point for non-geodetic users uh, who wants to get more information about geodetic products related to the different Earth system components. This view graph shows the list of geodetic uh, products, which are uh, currently published at the uh, GIGOS website. So in total, these are 23 products, which are here uh, listed according uh, to the uh, geodetic themes. And associated with the uh, product descriptions are so-called appetizer questions to advertise uh, the products to uh, other communities. For example, for the Celeste reference frame, how can we link Earth and space? Or how fast is the sea level rising? Or concerning atmosphere, how can geodesy contribute to weather prediction? So just as uh, an example for the product descriptions here, the terrestrial reference frame, uh, the fundamental product of, of geodesy, so used for uh, many other disciplines uh, with the ap appetizer questions, how can we provide a stable reference for measuring changes of our planet? And each of the product descriptions uh, contains, contains a short paragraph on the product itself in, in simple words. Uh, I think it should also be uh, understandable for uh, other scientists from other disciplines. 
Then we have for, for each product an illustrative uh, figure and you can get more information about the product if you are interested uh, by clicking on the read more bottom. As I mentioned, we have 23 product descriptions uh, finished now and further descriptions will follow. For example, uh, terrestrial water st uh, storage we are thinking would really be important because this is also an essential climate variable. And uh, here you see in this uh, table uh, how, how often these products are visited. And so on the top level are sea surface heights. This is not surprising, I think, because uh, sea level is uh, in, in the, uh, uh, yeah, is everywhere mentioned. Uh, it, it causes a lot of, of problems for many country, uh, countries. Many people are in, uh, will uh, feel the causes uh, of the sea level change. Surprising for me is that the EUPs are on, are on, on uh, the second place uh, before the ter terrestrial reference frame. And so uh, the EUPs are ob obviously well recognized in the community. And this was really surprising for me. Uh, since sea, sea surface heights are obviously so important, I uh, will show the description here uh, also. Uh, one paragraph as an explanation, explanation and then an illustrative figure showing uh, the different uh, quantities which are important here. If uh, you uh, like to estimate uh, sea surface heights, it's, so it's not uh, very easy. You have to consider uh, many different things. You have to apply many uh, corrections and all of these corrections are dis, uh, described here in simple words. You see uh, as an illustration here uh, the original sea level rise and uh, also shown are selected data sources where you can uh, get the data or more information on uh, sea surface heights. So now uh, I come to uh, uh, the contributions of the BPS to outreach activities. I have just a summary slide on, on this. So the BPS contributed uh, to the uh, updating or the new generation of the GIGOS uh, website uh, concerning description of observations, products, and uh, together with, uh, with the IAG services, uh, also the uh, service activities have been uh, described and another activity was uh, to support uh, GIGOS uh, with the generation of uh, films. So you all know the uh, film with, which has been published last year on uh, GIGOS and Geodesy, so a general uh, film and so the first product film about the terrestrial reference frames has been published last week already in eight, eight languages and uh, more videos about geodetic products will follow. So this will be one of the key activities for the uh, coming months and also in, in the last year. And also we will work on uh, further social media po uh, posts about geodetic products to advertise uh, the contributions of geodesy to the society. So this is my final slide uh, summarizing some of the ongoing and future activities. So one activity we are dealing now is uh, to update the BPS activities for the new GIGOS implementation plan. And uh, of course a key Long-term activity is uh, the evaluation of standards and conventions across all IAG components, which requires a regular update of the BPS inventory. And this requires also a close interaction with the IAG services, the IAS convention centers and other entities. Then a key focus is on activities related to geodetic products. And this in view to the definition of essential geodetic variables, accuracy as assessment is important, gap analy analysis and requirements for geodetic products. We will motivate the development of integrated products uh, in, with, uh, uh, in cooperation with the uh, GIGOS focus areas. And as I mentioned already, we will uh, work on further product descriptions. 
then we will also uh, uh, continue to support uh, GIGOS concerning outreach activities, uh, concerning website updates, portal developments, and contribution to further films. And uh, of course, we will more, put more focus on the def definition of essential geodetic variables in future, and we, you will get more information on this in the next presentation given by Thomas Gruber. So that's all what I have. So, thanks. Thanks. Thanks.